the, the basketball team. Opener for the season under Rick Barnes, and they got a bunch of new players. Six freshmen to go with three returning scholarship players led by Jacobin Brown. Taking on Boston University, defending American East champs, and Jacobin knocks down the three. He'll be called upon to score a bunch. Mike Cabongo, the freshman from Canada. That's right, the Canada flavor continues. BU, though, hanging tough. They actually led throughout part of the first half, and then Julian Lewis knocks down one of his four threes. He was on that floor playing for Lamarck at the state championship last year. That's Sheldon McClellan. He played at Bel Air in Houston. Yet another freshman. Horns up 31-21 at the break. Second half, nice interior passing. Clint Chapman off the redshirt year to Jacobin Brown. Career high tying 28. Chapman coming in with the flush. Chapman off the bench to provide a spark. Jonathan Holmes, big freshman from San Antonio, showing the range. He hit the three, and Lewis with a little exclamation point. Horns win it, 82-46. Needless to say, the kids were excited to play. Well, I could tell the guys obviously were really excited, and uh, but once we got the lead, I felt like we let down and uh, got away from the details. But overall, uh, some guys really did some good things. I'm so excited. I couldn't sleep. Probably slept at like 3 o'clock in the morning. I was just excited, you know. I, I, mean, I mean, first college game, you know, you're just so excited. I mean, just to get it out the way and get a win is the most important thing as a team. We're taking strides to get better. So, I mean, for the performance, I'm, I graded an A because we got a W and we got a win. A for the W. Horns back at it Tuesday afternoon, 3 o'clock against Rhode Island. The odd starting time is because it's part of ESPN's 24 hours of basketball. 3 o'clock time, not terribly convenient for the fans, but it's at least not the Drexel Ryder game Tuesday morning at 6 a.m.